like if you guys can see with your eyes and we um, can see with our ears. This is remarkable. These people are blind in the sense that their eyes no longer function, but they see by tongue clicking using flash sonar or echolocation, like bats used to navigate their world. Hello, my name is Cal Fernetti Foster, and this campaign is to raise funds for an instructor from the World Access for the Blind, located in the United States, to come to Belize, Central America, to teach three blind people how to use flash sonar technique. In turn, they will teach others. We will go to familiar and unfamiliar places to practice seeing through sonar. This gives them independence and freedom and also helps the families and the communities they live in. The World Access for the Blind is headed by Daniel Keish, who has developed this technique and traveled all over the world teaching more than 10,000 blind people in 40 countries. He was blind by the age of 13 months and has been totally independent since a very early age. This video will reveal how this method works and how blind people can see through sound. The Belize Council for the Visually Impaired is helping me with the people and the logistics. They are the only organization that helps the blind in Belize and have very limited funding, but really wants this program to happen. Rowan Gurel is one of the three people, and he has been blind all his life. He loves the outdoors, but he needs his parents to guide him as he ventures into different environments. He loves to listen and learn about the world around him and feels the textures of living things. Being blind can be frustrating because if I want to go somewhere, I can't do it on my own yet. I have to wait for someone to be available to take me to that particular place. I love animals and I love nature. If I could do something with them, studying them, that would be really great. Well, I'm 16 now and you know I'm getting a bit older. And my dream is to have you know my own place, my own apartment, be able to travel anywhere I want and be free. College is a really big concern because, I mean, I can't depend on people to guide me there because I have to go to my own classes. So for him to become totally independent of us is extremely important. And that is why this echolocation for us is a dream come true as parents. One of my friends told me about Daniel Kish, and he is actually able to see through sound by using echolocation. And I think that's pretty impressive because he's able to be independent and free, go places and travel and do all these things on his own. And he could actually teach other blind people like myself to use that skill as well. So I hope that could happen. I have been echolocating for as long as I can remember. If my parents think back, I lost my first eye at seven months, my second eye at 13 months. I was probably clicking by the age of 15 months. So you're calling out into the environment, you're essentially asking the environment what are you and where are you, and you're receiving those answers. It works like this. The click bounces off an object, and the time it takes for the echo to return tells Daniel distance and location. You get location, you get dimension, the general form factor of the object, and you get what we call depth of structure, which involves the density of an object, how solid it is or how sparse it is. Flash sonar is something like carrying around uh, a flashlight with you and shining that flashlight into the environment, except instead of light, you're using sound. We can go through here, we can count the little holes here. One, two, three, Okay, so this is like a little sitting area. I touch the table here with my cane, but not with my hand. So I can basically tell that this is a roofed in, uh, we'll call it a gazebo, surrounded by poles. It isn't that difficult to teach. It really isn't. So I believe that the brain is already at least partly wired to do this. All that has to happen is the hardware needs to be awakened. It needs to be activated. Initially, the instructor starts activating the brain by guiding the students in ways which they break down their established perceptions and expand their attitudes. The most important aspect of our teaching is really about student attitudes. The attitude of no limits. The attitude of self-direction. Blind people are accustomed to being restricted, are accustomed to being limited. The instructor begins by getting the student to bounce clicks off a moving panel to orient themselves. Left. Right. Right again. 
The students start to explore and push back barriers by learning to use flash sonar first in a room and then outdoors. They begin to get more confidence and become more aware of the options they have within their environments. They interact with their environment with more precision. Don't forget to click every now and then. And you can hear things over you. See if you can hear when the branches are above you. Our view is that the learning process happens from within. It isn't pushed in from without. It's drawn forth from within. That's done through motivation and it's done through perception. If an individual is perceptive with a positive attitude about their capacities, the skills that they need develop on their own. The rewards are amazing. Gradually going taller. Yes. And then goes across. Yep. And then it's gradually coming back down again. Yes. That's amazing. It, I can like see the car. You can see it in your mind. Holy mother. <laughs> <laughs> this obstacle course here that I'm going to do today is not just poles. Three, two, one, go. It is a goal. And the bigger the goal, the more obstacles you face. And on the other side of that goal is victory. Un Guinness World Record. Stop. E allora! E allora! E allora! Within the foreseeable future, we will be looking at the human perceptual system and blindness in particular very, very differently. We won't be asking the question, what can blind people not see? We will be asking the question, how much can blind people really see? That they want to count you up. Big up. You're it. You right. I can hear that there's porousness to it. It's some kind of machine. Yes. <laughs> is it like uh, an ATV? It is an ATV. Yeah. has done many of these adventures, but always with his family and friends in hand. He helped raise funds for the Belize Council for the Visually Impaired by learning to dive the Blue Hole, climb the highest peak in the country, and walk 90 miles across Belize. I really love doing these things, and I'm going to continue, but it would be nice if I could do these things on my own, and that would show other blind people that they could do things on their own too, they could go wherever they like. So if he's able to get around with the cane and also using echolocation, it would make a world of difference for him and for us. How cool would it be to, you know, be a human bat? Now if blind people can learn to see in the dark, then it seems to me that surely sighted people can learn to see better in the light.